today might be our last day with Daisy. Huh? You know I'm going somewhere, huh? I'm not going to take you, but you might be going home by the time I get back. Are they going to come and get you? Yeah, I go back to Ashley. <laughs> Chelsea is not feeling well, so Ashley got up. That was very nice of you this morning. So take care of her, okay? I'll be back. I don't think they'll, I mean, I'll, she'll text me, but we'll find out when you're going home. And Ashley, the big question of the day is, now do you want a dog? <laughs> She's the only one in the family who's like, yeah, no, I'm good. I don't want a dog. Well, it's I've been taking care of. Yeah. Yeah. And if we were evening it out, like, if we were all doing the same amount of work, it, it might even out, yeah. Chelsea has been sick this week, so it's been hard for her. Yep, and Kaylee has been working and having to sleep in. Yeah, Abby's not into dogs, and neither are Dad and I. So, and we like you, Daisy. Don't, don't, don't take offense. But I am going really quick, hopefully, to do a Target pickup order. It is 9:45. I did allow myself to sleep in because Jason and I just had a rough night. Just really not understanding why we're waking up so much um, or why we're not able to go back to sleep I don't know I don't know what the deal is let me shut the garage door here um, sorry uh, we have an update on Jason's brother really quick um, that's what all these messages are gonna be coming in here um, I'm going to do a target pickup order we don't have milk and I went to bed at 8 o'clock last night with a raging headache um, that was starting to make me feel a little bit nauseous. Um, I slept for a couple of hours, like laid in bed for a couple hours and then got up and took a hot shower and that really helped. So then I hurried and climbed into bed. It still took me another hour or two to fall asleep. So but then we were up off and on all night long and that was really annoying. Except, I don't want to say it was annoying, because we, at midnight, well about 11.30, we got an update about his brother, who's still in the hospital. He had his, this is the one that had the motorcycle accident last spring. Um, he had surgery um, a week ago now. I'm going to pull over so I don't have to drive real quick. Um, he had surgery a week ago to have his intestines reconnected to his bowels. Um, uh, in the hopes that that was the last of his surgeries. We were hoping he'd be home in time for a family Christmas party today. Um, but as of 1130 last night, we got word that uh, we knew he wasn't recovering enough to leave the hospital. They weren't going to come for the family Christmas party. That's fine. We're still going to do it with those that are going to be able to come into town. He got an infection. And so... They had to do an emergency surgery at midnight last night. Um, it got done at 4.30 in the morning. We got another text message at 4.30 in the morning from his wife, my sister-in-law, and um, surgery, it went well, except they had to reverse everything that they did, which is really unfortunate. So they had to undo um, and reinstate the ileostomy. Um, which I can't imagine his frustration when he wakes up this morning and finds out that he in fact is not all done. <laughs> so it's kind of hard news. He has, they'll have to leave the yellowostomy in or out, attached, I guess you should say, um, for another couple months um, to get rid of the infection. So yeah, it's the battery died. So not good news, but surgery went okay. I mean, nothing else bad happened, but there's a lot of infection in there and just really sad. Um, so keep him in your thoughts and prayers. So we were just up all night long um, getting updates from them. And then the whole family was texting at midnight back and forth for about an hour. And then at four in the morning, they were texting when they got that update. And so just, just a little bit tired. Um, I have a few plans uh, to do, not plans, a few things I've got to get done this morning. And then, like I said, we are now hosting the family Christmas party at our house. 
told my family it's not gonna be spectacular because I wasn't planning on hosting. So we're just using whatever food we have left over and none of it goes together. <laughs> I'm just gonna play it by ear. Um, but I also have office work to do and bills to pay and the girls want me to get the record player set up on a table which means I need to take down some of the Christmas decorations which, which I'm all for I just um, it's hard for me because when I when I start to take Christmas down usually the day after Christmas I'm all in and I'm taking it all down and I can't do that today if everyone's gonna come over I can't create that mess and I want to still have some of it of somewhat of an atmosphere for everyone to come over for a Christmas party. So even though the Christmas was set up for Thanksgiving, <laughs> you understand. So I'll do a very minimal job in order to get the record player up and off the floor. Thank you. Okay, back at home. She's still here with us. We're starting to gather up her stuff for you to go home. Oh, oh, scared her. <laughs> We're gonna turn on some music and I'm gonna start to take this down. Um, Which song? Tempted to take this stuff down. We're gonna play it on Never Grow Up. But I'm not going to, because I've got other things I've gotta get done. So she's picking out some Daisy, music. Come. Daisy, come here. You're not getting treats from Ash. I'm not filming you, I can't see you. Ash, or Daisy, come. Daisy, come. Come. But I'm gonna take this down because I can just put the houses um, over here by the shelf and all the trees. I'm just gonna take this down so we can put this record player okay, up. Play okay, whatever, you can play whatever. Okay, this is the setup for now. I'm just gonna leave this tree here because it doesn't fit on the shelf. But I've just put all the Christmas trees on this shelf and all the houses kind of over here. I don't know if I'm actually gonna put the houses back on the shelf. I might do like less of a country theme on the shelf going forward. I don't know, I haven't decided. But I might get more like blacks and whites because I think that would look really pretty here. But that's for later version of me. <laughs> um, and I also just left the advent calendar down here along with the stockings, light, and the little snow thing. I'm not pulling out the bins today to undecorate and all that kind of stuff. We still have the tree fully set up. Christmas present for one of the families. I'm going to wrap the other one, but he's in the hospital for another week. So we won't be seeing him. And we're going to turn on Fearless instead. I don't, just turn it on. Just let it play from the beginning. Oh, oh, oh. See, we got to get a, a new system so that we can actually like be able to do this from the tabletop instead of the floor and not ruin the records like this. So what I want is a nice little basket or bin to put the records in underneath. Done. Teaching them to hold the sides, hold the edges. And I love the colors of them. Yep, put it on the hole. It's quite fun to, uh, and then you lift up. Nope, do that. Yep. And then you just push it and it starts it. But nope, it goes down. Okay, my next task is to work on <laughs> all of this. I need to pay credit card bills. Sorry, the credit cards are literally right here because I need to reset one of the passwords. Can't figure it out through mail. Got all of our birth certificates back from all of our passports. Okay, next up is to work on this mess here in my office, covering up addresses. I've got Christmas cards that I've gotten in the mail. I'm gonna go hang up. Um, I've got some trees to, to sneak and put away gift cards to put away. I've got this mess. I keep just shoving things in instead of putting them away. So I've got to do that. Birth certificates to put away. A few more Christmas cards to mail off. Checking off my list. Unfortunately, I have to get this stuff done. I have to pay credit card bills, which means I have to change passwords. 
I really need to get um, some of our documents put back in a safe. So I really need to like kind of go through this kind of stuff. The kids are all just kind of hanging out. Daisy is still here. <laughs> Can you see her right there? I'm gonna be kind of quiet. She's asleep, but she's sitting here right by the door, just hanging out. She actually, we haven't said anything, but she wants these in here. <laughs> So Michelle, this is her favorite toy. Um, she wants to attack it and play with it and, and use it as one of her toys. <laughs> she knows it's in here and she wants in, but I'm not letting her in. It's also a little bit more cool right here than it is in front of the fireplace. Um, so we're just letting her take it. I am working through one of two videos I need to edit. And if I have time, I'll edit current days. Um, got all of my... Uh, organization done. I've got things put back into the folders where they belong, created some new folders, everything put away, including our current Hawaii photo from our Christmas card. I thought, you know what? That's kind of fun to put it in that frame. I hadn't found a picture yet. Or actually, I hadn't printed off this photo um, from our photo session when we were in Hawaii. And so I thought, you know what? Let's just add that one. It's really, really cute. And, um, I'm going to redo this whole shelf in general, but I love that. Um, but the rest of this is all cleaned off. I am going to get maybe a picture of the girls or no, this one is for me and Jason. There's, we need to update a photo of me and Jason because I've been doing photos of me and him from our trips alone. Here is the parrot photo from our first year in Maui. Actually, you can tell how much weight I've lost. That's kind of a, I don't know. It's a good thing, I guess. And then the other one, well, First of all, we have set up for Christmas dinner with our family. Um, we've got record player that's been going nonstop. Um, it's kind of fun to have it on. And then here is the other parrot photo that I placed out here. This is from this year in Maui. I, I'm just going to miss. They need to bring it back. He, he has all the birds, um, but maybe he'll be over in Whaler's Village or something when we end up going back to Maui next year, maybe. Not next year, it'll be in 2025 or 2026 when we go next. Um, and then I've got my cute little ornaments still right there. We are gonna create a new little stack, a way to organize our record collection. Anyway, we've got, I actually might take all the gingerbread houses and throw them all away. This has been on display um, for Patty. Um, she gave us that salt and pepper shakers. I am going to actually just put these ones in the cupboard, maybe even fill them up so we can have them on the table for the future. But our cousins aunt and uncle are coming over soon. So I'm going to go up and get ready. Can you take a shower real quick, please? And me, I'm going to go and freshen up and maybe put on a shirt that's not just a grimy sweatshirt um hopefully jason got his dad to bring some chairs um for everyone um what seattle i know your friends got tickets to go to C to no, taylor canada. in canada yeah maybe maybe one of these that it's there's only a it's few tours a deal, yeah you know. there's only a few ones left and if you didn't get tickets already it, there's no chance but i'm gonna go freshen up a little bit all right as does happen when we have family over we didn't film anything everything cleaned up everyone's gone home it's nine o'clock um we had a great time great dinner we all just kind of gathered up what we had left over from christmas christmas eve and we ate that and my sister-in-law made some, what is it called? Corner, street corner corn? What is it called? Street cobbler. corn? And peach cobbler, which was super, super good. But everything else was kind of our leftover mashed potatoes, our leftover gravy, our leftover ham. We all just kind of compiled it. I had our leftover veggie tray. Um, so we got a fun gift of some snacks from them, not the Coke, but the snacks. And this like 20 foot blanket. I don't even know how big this blanket is. Um, can you even see it right here? It actually has it. Don't spill my popcorn. I'm gonna have a small snack. Oh, my feet. I keep stepping on ice, getting my socks wet. Got this very large family blanket um, from them, 
which was super cute. And Grandpa, every year, gives us heifers. <laughs> what? He usually buys animals for um, impoverished areas. So we usually try and take his donation and um, it provides some kind of meat to children in third world countries that um, are in need of food. So that is his gift to the kids every year, um, which is kind of neat. Um, they all expect it, they all know it's coming. Um, so he usually gets a card from the company and a pencil. So um, it was just fun company. We played games and introduced them to ransom notes and we gave them the, what is the dice game? What is it called again? Um, the shut the, shut the Box game, yeah. The same one we have, um, Shut the Box. Um, gave that to them. Laughed until we almost peed our pants. <laughs> Had a great time. And then they went back home and they stayed at grandpa's house while they're in town. Um, and they had to get home to take care of their dog, Tika. So I'm going to end our night having a little snack, not having to go to bed at 8 p.m. Get out of my smock. It's a, it's a snack size box bag of popcorn. So it's not even like, it's non shareable. <laughs> it's non shareable. It's not shareable. No. Yeah. I don't love you that much tonight. <laughs> That's not very kind. I know it's not. I just want to eat my popcorn. So, so we're going to sign off with you guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy almost New Year. We're going to, Chelsea Marie, we're going to enjoy the week. I don't know when I'm going to pick up my camera. We will when we need to. We won't when we don't. And we hope you guys all had a great holiday season. And um, are those M&Ms already gone? No, not entirely. Can I have some? No, you didn't give me a lot of popcorn. Okay, Santa gave you a lot of candy. Santa's pretty generous. Santa is you. pretty generous, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Only okay, hand me that remote, and then I'm going to sign off with you guys. Chelsea Marie, I gave you mine's namesake for a reason. Be my favorite child right now. Have you seen those videos? <laughs> have you seen those videos where kids, like one of the kids, pranks their mom and and they give themselves a sweatshirt that says mom's favorite <laughs> and they pretend like mom. mom gave it to them and all the other siblings are like mom i can't believe that i, I should have done that. that with you guys yeah, it would have been so funny it would have been so or funny you gave one, but then didn't it would be funnier if it was dad's favorite uh, yeah, because mom. you guys are all dad's favorite but if there was one no. that was like called out like that that would be you know funny what your favorite is. Oh, please. I don't have favorites. I do, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we all have ones we get along with better. Um, but that doesn't mean that there are... There... <laughs> are you struggling on your words there, Chelsea? No, I got it. Uh-huh. A little cough. guilty frog in your throat? No. no? It's not guilty at all, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to watch my show. Uh, We're going to say goodnight to you guys. Kayla um, is my favorite. So. I, we all know that. Yes. That's yeah. obvious. Yes. Yeah. It depends on the situation. No, it's <laughs> always. Not. It does not. No, for me. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sign, signing off with you guys. Thank you for being there for us, with us, along the way. I have appreciated your messages, both publicly on each um, video each day, but also privately if you send me messages. I really appreciate it. Um, it's just like getting a, a message from a friend. Like, I like to respond to you. If I don't get back to you right away, it's because I want to be mindful with my response. Um... And yeah, so just thanks for being a part of our family and we appreciate you. We'll see you guys in the new year. Take care.